So again, Merrimack College, the number seven ranked team in the country, number two seed here in the Northeast Regional, a record of 25 wins, nine losses and four ties. Joining Coach Mark Dennehy at the podium is captains, seniors Chris Barton and Adam Ross and <coughs> junior goaltender Joe Kanata. We now begin with opening statements. Coach Dennehy. Uh, thrilled to be here, um, not just in the NCAA tournament, but also Manchester. Um, makes it a little bit easier for uh, our supporters to get here. And um, I think that's great because I think they played a role in us getting here as well. Uh, their showing at the Boston Garden, I think, helped us quite a bit, that along with, with uh, a pretty good season in terms of our play. Um, working very hard not to get caught, caught up in the bright lights. We hope to use our experience from last week's hockey's championship, uh, put it to good use. And uh, we've got a big challenge ahead of us in, in a, a, a very good Notre Dame team. And uh, looking forward to it. Well, now I'll open up to questions for the student athletes. If you wish to ask a question, please raise your hand. We'll bring the microphone over to you. Then we just ask that you state your name and your affiliation. Uh, first question for the student athlete. Jim Fennell from the Union Leader. Uh, this question for either Chris or Adam. Um, you know, you guys have been here for a while. How has the reaction on campus changed um, from when you first got here to this year? Um, definitely my freshman year, you'd, uh, if we had a game on Friday night, I know a lot of the, the students wouldn't even know we had a game. And uh, obviously that's changed tremendously uh, this year. Um, you walk around campus and everyone knows what's going on and, and they're telling us good luck and the support's been incredible and uh, we can't thank them enough because they've been uh, like the seventh man on the ice. Uh, yeah, basically same thing. You know, uh, when, when me and Sparks first showed up, uh, crowds were pretty sparse a lot of nights. I know uh, I just think back to our first home opener there. Um, I think we played Niagara our freshman year and, you know, there, there's hardly anyone there, no one there for warm up. Um, this season we show up home opener against UConn and the place is already packed for warm up. All the students are excited. Uh, the fan section was packed, and you know that just kind of shows, uh, you know, the excitement that our team's built over the over the past few years here, and uh, obviously we've continued to this year. Um, you know, students stay. In, uh, we went on spring break here this past week, so students have stayed back. Um, you know, um, given given up their spring breaks to watch our hockey team play, and uh, that's really exciting for us. Rich Thompson, Boston Herald. Chris, the, the scoring numbers suggest balance on your score. Is that the secret to your success, throwing lines at people? Yeah, we think uh, we have four lines, and, and we can roll them all game long. Um, that's been our key to where we've got today is depth. Um, there's a lot of different guys you can count on in different situations, and uh, obviously I think that's what got us here where we are today. Any more questions for the student-athletes? For Joe or Chris, uh, can you just talk about Coach Denny, his impact on the program? He's been kind of, uh, I guess, reticent to give himself any credit for this. But can you can you guys just talk about, you know, what kind of coach he is and what he's meant to you guys? Um, <clears throat> obviously, uh, he was the number one reason why I chose Merrimack College. Um, if you look at what he's done over the last six years and, and how, it, how when he came in, what the place was like, and if he came in now, how, how much he's done in the last six years. Um, I think that's why a majority of us have uh, been recruited and, and chosen Merrimack is because of Mark. Um, personal guy, and he's uh, one of the most competitive guys I know. So um, it's pretty neat what he's done, and uh, we're trying to do a little bit more for him before our time's done here. Yeah, same thing. Uh, most guys, number one reason why they committed here was coach, uh, him and his coaching staff. And I feel like everyone on the team's got a better relationship than most guys have with their head coaches other places and um, friendship off the ice and around the community is good too. Chris and I, Chris and I. I guess 
So I guess for me, I wouldn't I wouldn't say I ever had any doubt. Um, the first few years, I just never even thought about it, um, to be honest. And uh, you know, as our as our team progressed, and uh, you know, we started to win more games, and um, we we started to realize that uh, you know this is something that we could achieve as a team, and it's a it was a very real goal for us. Um, you know, obviously, it, it's very exciting as a senior. Um, you know, for uh, for me. And, Speaking for Chris too, I think we're both very excited that uh, you know we could we could go out with an achievement like this. Um, obviously, uh, this isn't what we're happy with being here. We have we have further goals, but uh, it is it's, it's it's a great great thing for us. I think for our team and program, and uh, we are excited to be here. And it, it does feel good, um, you know, to have uh, you know when we came in, we we came here to progress the program along, and I think uh, you know along with uh, the rest of our teammates. Uh, we've been able to do a pretty good job of that. Uh, Mike McNick, College Hockey News, and uh, also Merrimack Radio. This is for all of the players. Uh, last weekend with the loss to uh, to BC in the championship game, uh, and Chris and Adam, we saw how you guys reacted having to receive that runner-up trophy. Uh, what kind of motivation now after having you know tasted that kind of defeat does that give you going into this weekend's games? Yeah, it was, uh, you definitely don't want that trophy. Um, I didn't even get a chance to play, but um, I think all the guys learned um, what it takes to, lo uh, to lose and what it takes to win. Um, we have to use everything we can in this tournament because we know there's uh, a lot of good opponents left. Um, but that one stung, and uh, we're definitely looking for more. Any final questions? Uh, Joe, just for you, uh, being a kid, from Massachusetts. First, tell me what your impressions of Merrimack were growing up as a young kid, and uh, and then when you decided on Merrimack and being here, you know, I'm sure you must know a lot of guys that go to you know other schools in Massachusetts, UNH. You know what they say to you when you're going to Merrimack? Well, to be honest, I didn't know much about it growing up. I knew they were in Hockey East, and being from Massachusetts, you tend to be a BC or BU fan, but. Um, Playing in hockey East is just a dream of mine, and again, when I was recruited, coach was a big part of that, and where the program was going, and um, yeah, that's it. All right, well, Chris, Joe, and Adam, we thank you for joining us. I wish you the best of luck tomorrow night against Notre Dame. Uh, you guys are free to go. If you have any other specific questions for student athletes, we do ask that you please coordinate. Uh, through Brad Davis from the Merrimack College Sports Information Department. So you guys are all set. We'll Thanks very much. open Thank things you. up now for um, questions for sixth year head coach Mark Dennehy. Thompson from Boston Herald. Uh, I get kind of uh, asked Coach Jackson to assess your body of work over the last six years, and he thought your biggest challenge was just simply changing the culture at Merrimack. Is, is that a fair assessment? Yes, um, and, and uh, you know, it comes from someone who, who was part of that, both at Lake State and at, at Notre Dame. Um, I think they had been in one NCAA tournament prior to his arrival, and they've been in four of the last five. So. Um, it is. You know, you can change coaches, you can change players. Until you, you change the culture, um, you know, you really not, haven't haven't accomplished much. So, you know, it was a slow process, and you never, it's, you know, you never really turn the corner. Uh, this thing can get away from anybody. So you, you're on, on, on constant vigil, um, and at the end of the day, it comes down to the players. So you got to go recruit good players from good families, and that's a 365-day, 24-hour job. Uh, minus the dead periods and quiet periods, but uh, you're always working towards that end. And you know, I, I all I can do is is thank uh, you know this group. Um, they came in and they believed, coming off a three-win season, that we could do this. So uh, I am happy for them that they're here. Uh, you can see from their responses that they're not satisfied, uh, and that's probably uh, the biggest testament. That's the legacy they'll leave. Is that. Um, you know, they're not afraid to set their goals pretty high. And so 
You know, that's the first goal we haven't achieved this year was was Saturday night. So it'll be interesting to see how we respond to that. Uh, Mark, do you see it, the same thing I asked the players, I guess, you know, do you see anything, I guess, this week in practice in terms of the way they approach practice or anything? You guys have responded well to, to adversity and also, you know, when the lost games, you tend to come back the next night and play very well. Have you seen anything this week that's a little different in the way that they've approached getting ready for this week's games? No, no. This is a pretty resilient group, um, very businesslike. Um, all you had to do was see their faces on Saturday night. And then, uh, you know, it was nice to – one of our goals was to make the tournament. So uh, it did take a little bit of the edge off the sting on Sunday when we were uh, received the invitation to be here. Um, you know, but I think there's some motivation there as well to, to um, get back on track. So we had a pretty good week of practice, and I'm confident that, that we'll be ready to go tomorrow night. Same thing when I was asking about players, just about the change in, in, in the, the way the community and, and the campus has received you guys this year from the past years. Well, it's it's not it's not a one man or a 28 person job. Um, you know, you can have the best intentions in the world, and if your administration isn't supportive, then you know you you're not going to have much success. So, um, you know, a lot of what they're talking about, the game management, the marketing of the program. Uh, you know, that starts with President Hopi and uh, Glenn Hoffman. And I think it, it's not, uh, you know, ironic that you saw a lot of the changes really take hold when, when uh, Glenn got here and just started taking care of the little things. Uh, I didn't have to be worried about whether they're going to announce my assistant coach's name right during the, the uh, you know, introductions. I could worry more about coaching the team and bringing in good people. So. I know that I'm not the only one losing sleep at night about the Merrimack hockey program. Uh, that that Glenn, you know, I I know because I get texts at two in the morning. You know, what about this? What about that? Um, so, w and, and the players will be the first one to tell you they noticed it, and um, you know, it's that's really where if you don't have that type of support, it doesn't matter how hard we work. Absolutely. You know, it's the chicken or the egg. You know, do you, do you fill the rink um, because you have a good team or do you get a good team because you got a full rink? So, you know, can you attract those players before that happens? That's why these guys were really the pioneers, the Chris Bartons, the Adam Rosses, the Joe Canadas that, that sort of took the leap of faith. Um, there are some guys that aren't here this year, the, the, the Pat Bowens and J.C. Robitaille that graduated last year that haven't had a chance to taste, uh, you know, this type of success. And, and these guys remember them, and, you know, with the wonders of telecommunications, you know, they're texting back and forth. And, um, you know, there are a lot of people that aren't here that played a big part in us getting here. Any more questions for Coach Dennehy? Coach, we thank you very much. Best of luck uh, tomorrow, and congratulations on a great season so far. Thank you.